I'm here with George Smokey Sigler, and thank you for joining us for the Bay Times and Record Observer Centerville Town Council Forum here on QAC TV. Um, we'd like you to start out and tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. Thanks, Hannah, for having me in. Um, I'm originally from northwestern Pennsylvania, a little small community, county seat, not a lot unlike what Centerville is. Um, listened in the Marines after graduation, ended up spending 24 years on active duty, retiring from the Marine Corps. Then I went to work for a company out of Cincinnati called Procter & Gamble doing new business development, uh, which is what brought Deb and I, my wife, here back in 1992. It's kind of ironic. I couldn't wait to get away from small town America and have spent the last 29 years in small town America. Just one of those kind of things. We raised a son and a daughter here, my son Cameron, who's following my footsteps of being a Marine. He will be the seventh generation of Marines in our family, something that we're kind of proud of. My daughter uh, is at Chesapeake. We'll be graduating this next year. Um, we just like it here. It's, it's home, it's family, it's closeness. Uh, just the way that people treat each other here that, that you don't get that. We moved here from a very large city in North Carolina called Charlotte. And frankly, couldn't wait to get out of the big city and back to the roots of America. Thank you. Um, why don't you tell us why you'd like to be a member of the town council? We know you're no stranger to that. <laughs> no, no. And that's one of the reasons that I want to go back on the council. There were a couple projects that I wanted to see to come to fruition. Both projects had to do with improvements to the infrastructure. And a lot of people just think infrastructure just works. What well, doesn't? You know, there's 27 miles of sewer water, storm water drainage that runs through our 2.7 square mile town. And all of those things need to be taken care of on a regular basis. We're finally getting there. We just finished this big nightmare project and we're done with that. So we're moving that forward. The other thing is I wanted to get upgrades to the sewer plant, which is coming up in the budget, but I also wanted to make sure that we could move forward on our second spray irrigation field. And I'll talk about that a little bit later in my comments, because those are things that are going to help continue growth. Okay, and that does tie into our next question, which is what are some of the major issues that you see facing the town? A uh, couple things. When we first moved here in 92, the population of Centerville was about 1,800 folks. Uh, at the 2010 census, that number approached 5,000. And we're getting ready to do census. And that number is probably going to be northwards of 8,000. Static folks, meaning people who actually reside in the town. When you add in the students who come here Monday through Friday, the business people that come here Monday through Friday, the governmental workers that come here Friday, that number can be somewhere as high as 2,000 people coming into Centerville. We also have a major highway that carries 17,000 cars a day through the middle of our town, north and south, that a lot of people don't realize unless you're stuck in that traffic. We have people that you know, we want to have that be safe for our citizens. We want to be able to ensure that our planning and zoning is done the right way. And I spent two years on planning and zoning after I left the council. And we just finished rewriting everything to go in accordance with the upcoming new comprehensive plan that's coming. That's going to dictate a lot of the growth. And so we want to make sure that it works that way. And we've got to have somebody on the council who knows how to do that. What's, what's one of the main things that you'd really hope to accomplish with another council? Uh, something near and dear to my heart and should be near and dear to everybody else's heart. This is my real property tax bill. For those of us who live in Centerville, it came in July. And on one of the lines, it says county rebate, county tax Centerville. That's a tax differential. When I first got on the council, we didn't have a tax differential because we were a May County, not a Shall County. Through diligence, hard work, and a lot of harassment of the county commissioners, we were able to get a county tax differential started. Started off at three cents, went to five, went to eight. Now, it, for some reason, it got locked into 12 by council members who had just left the council. The number should be 17 cents of tax differential rental coming back. And what that is, is for duplicative services. We do services the same way the county does. And one last thing, that number, 17 cents, is that should be coming back to our residents. And I'm going to work to make that happen. 
All right, great. Is there anything else you'd like the voters to know? This is not a part-time job. I don't care what anybody says. It isn't. I averaged about 30 hours a week doing this job. I'm retired, so I have the time to do that. You can't be a council member and be an effective council member if you walk in the door, pick up your briefing book, and make decisions that affect our citizens. You just can't do that. So, like I said, I average over 30 hours. And I want to work for the benefits of the citizens. I always have, I always will. I'm one of those straightforward kind of guys. I'm available and I'm reachable. My cell phone number is 410-758-0006. Easy number to remember. That was my first number, house number, when I got here. And I kept it because it's such a cool number and easy to remember. Leave me a message. I will get back to you. The one last thing I want to talk about is the five council members. Long before I was on the council, I presented to the old council the five. And of course, they told us the same council told everybody else, go get the votes, you can get it. Well, we couldn't get the votes because we didn't have social media back in those days. We have it now. And I applaud the diligence and hard work that this group did to make the five council. And I am 100% in support of that. All right. Thanks for joining us. Hey, glad to be here.